Welcome to the Power of Great. Your host, Matt Crane, and every week we come into your radios, we come into your smartphones, we come to you across six different continents on YouTube. And our main mission here with the Power of Great, what I really love about what we're doing right here on iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud is we help you recognize that your current situation is not your defining moment. Whether it's in business, whether it's in life, whether you want to take your nine to five game to another level, what we simply want to do is bring people to you that can help you transform your life in a completely different direction. And today I am so honored to have Kelly Roach in the power of great studios. And I will tell you, I've been paying attention to Kelly for the better part of, of three to six months, found her on Twitter and guys, there's not a more consistent person that I have seen in this industry that just delivers value, very authentic, and is not about the showmanship. It's literally about the impact, and that is something that I really value. Kelly is the host of the top-rated podcast, Unstoppable Success Radio, that's on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, YouTube, Google Play, and TuneIn. She's an international best-selling author. Unleash Your Greatness, and Unstoppable Nine Principles for Unlimited Success in Business and Life. She's the CEO of Kelly Roach Coaching, and ladies and gentlemen, it gets much better. She's a former NFL cheerleader, <laughs> Fortune 500 executive, where she was promoted seven times in eight years. She runs a business coaching program, mastermind group, online courses, and she also does private consulting with individuals and organizations. Kelly Roach. Welcome to the Power of Great Studios. Wow, what an introduction. Thank you so much. I can already tell this is going to be a ton of fun. So thank you so much, Matt, for having me. It's an honor to be here. Yes, absolutely. And, and you know, I think the, the, the one thing I love about this particular interview is that it was really organically formed. Mm -hmm. you know, finding you on Twitter was something that, that was by chance. Mm -hmm. And as I started to watch you, I said, man, there's something so dynamic about this lady that I just really enjoy. So as I start, you know, when I started really looking into your background and your bio, I said, well, that makes sense. Former NFL <laughs> cheerleader. I, you know, I was uh, on the verge of playing Major League Baseball. Okay. So I can definitely tell you have a competitive side. But then I also love the, the other side of the coin, the Fortune mm -hmm. 500 executive. So mm -hmm. a lot of our listeners out there on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher, they're going to want to know. What led Kelly Roach to the NFL cheerleading field and then what led her to Fortune 500 executive? Yeah, definitely. Well, all growing up, I was a competitive dancer. I always did gymnastics. I just loved performing. I loved to be in the excitement and the energy of athletics. And so um, when I got to college, I ended up going to a school that didn't have like a division one dance team. They didn't have a really competitive cheerleading team. And I was like, all right, so I have two options here. I can either step down or I can step up. And I'm like, I'm stepping up. So I decided the end of my freshman year of college to audition for the Philadelphia Eagles cheerleading team. And I became the youngest member of the team, which was awesome. And I just had an unbelievable experience. It was so much fun. I learned so much. It definitely prepared me for my Fortune 500 career. And, um, you know, did that. I did two seasons of cheerleading. Then I did two internships actually with the Philadelphia Eagles getting ready for my career. Um, and then, you know, I started my, uh, my charge in the corporate world. So joined a fortune 500. I wanted to start with a really big company, an international firm where I knew there was a lot of opportunity. I knew I could be in control of my income and grow my career. And, uh, it's just been kind of onward and upward from there. It's been fun. You know, I love how you said that you either were going to step down or step up. Mm -hmm. So you definitely had a moment right then where you could go either yeah. way. So what do you think was the one thing that led you to just saying, you know what, I got to step up? Yeah, I think that life, Matt, is about being the best that you can possibly be in everything that you do. And I truly believe that every moment, every day is a new opportunity to, like you said, grow into that next level, step up into the next layer of what your life is all about. And I love what you shared at the beginning of this show, that the moment where you are today or the place that you are today is not your defining moment. And that's how I see life. And quite frankly, that's how I see every day that we wake up, it's, it's a blank page. We can put whatever we want on that page. It can be a repetition of yesterday or it can be something completely, totally new, unique and dynamic. And, and that's the beautiful thing about life. 
Yeah, you're exactly right. And, and I think for so many people, you know, there's a segment of our audience that's going to hear NFR cheerleader and think, wow, she had it all made. Mm -hmm. And then there's a segment of our audience that's going to hear Fortune 500 executive and think, wow, she's got it all made. But yet, there was still something that you yeah. had burning inside of you that said, you know what, promoted seven times in eight years. I just still feel like I haven't arrived yeah. yet. Yeah. So talk to us about that and, and how that feeling has really manifested into the journey you're on right now. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, for me, Matt, I, I really deeply and genuinely believe that we were all given talent and gifts for a reason. And I feel like our number one reason for being put here on the earth is to figure out what our gifts are, what our talents are. You know, we were given those gifts. We were given the dreams that we have and the passions that we have for a reason. And for me, I proved to myself that I could become a corporate CEO if that's what I wanted to do with my career. When I got to be the youngest senior vice president of the company, um, I could check that box and, and realize that if moving up the corporate ladder was everything thing that I was capable of continue on that journey. But it was very similar to what we talked about in terms of the NFL. I was either going to step down or step up. I was going to keep going on the same path or I was going to say, you know what? I have this skill. I have this talent. For whatever reason, God knows why, I was given the ability to help people believe in their greatness strive for more, learn how to rapidly build their business. And I knew that I had just spent almost 10 years making millions and millions of dollars for one company. And meanwhile, there was 80% plus of entrepreneurs out there that were failing. 80% plus businesses fail. 95% plus of fail in their first you know, 10 years. And so I said to myself, if I was given this gift, I also was given the responsibility to do something with this gift. And to me, that responsibility is to help people accomplish their goals and dreams by building a profitable business around a life that they love. A business like mine, where like I told you, I, I apologize so much. I was late getting on our interview because I admit I was outside blowing bubbles in the yard with my two-year-old. But like, that's the beauty of entrepreneurship. And I wanna give that gift to as many people as humanly possible. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I have a three and a five year old as well. So Do I know what it's it? I, I know yeah. what it's like uh running from responsibility to responsibility. Yeah. But speaking of that word responsibility, that's probably one of the things that really drew me to you the most was that mm -hmm. you truly do feel responsible for every yeah. person that's going to take that time to watch you, listen to you, or ask questions from you. And so as you're walking through the, the Fortune 500 journey, right, mm -hmm. you're knocking down barriers, mm -hmm. right, in that industry. You're knocking barriers down. Yeah. You're, you're getting rid of the stigma. And you're at a senior vice president level. Once again, most people would think you have arrived. Mm -hmm. Talk to us what it felt like to start all over again from the uh, ground. It was tough. I mean, I remember, Matt, when I press publish to take my Facebook business page live, I was sweating bullets, terrified, so embarrassed because I knew that as soon as I did that, I was stepping into the light and I was saying, okay. I'm doing this. Like, I'm putting it out there in the world. I'm doing this. There's no looking back. Like, this is it. And it's really scary to start over. It's especially scary to start over when you're starting from nowhere and you kind of worked for a whole decade to kind of put together this life that you created. But I knew there was more for me. And I think that when we were given a dream and when we were given a feeling in our heart of hearts, we were given that for a reason, like I said earlier. And, you know, I, I think the, the biggest responsibility that we have in life is to be the best that we can possibly do and do the most that we can possibly do with the gifts that we're, that, that we're given. And, and that's what my, my goal is, is to touch every person I come in contact with in a positive way to make sure any time someone gives me the honor and the opportunity of being in their earbuds or them taking their time to watch one of my videos or to look at one of my social media posts, that it's going to be valuable, that it's going to make a difference for them and that people are going to walk away better than they were before they took time to do it. And so that, that's what I'm trying to do in, in every moment and every contact that I have with people. That's fantastic. So once again, out there on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher, Matt Crane, and you are live with us on the Power of Great podcast. And we are so honored to have Kelly Roach of Kelly Roach Coaching in the Power of Great Studios. And this particular podcast episode is brought to you by 
my folks out at Rush Impact Media, my man Jeremy Warren and the team are so gracious with all they do for, for us behind the scenes. They're really the engine to the power of great. So I want to give those folks a major shout out. And you're listening to Kelly really lay down the foundation of success. No matter where you currently are, no matter what height you're really taking, if you have a gift and you know that that gift belongs to someone else, do not cap that gift. Yeah. You've got to unleash that gift, right? You're unstoppable once you do that, yeah. right, Kelly? Yes. So, yeah. you know, Kelly, another part of what you really do is, is that you really are entrenched with your clients from the level of whether you help them start their business, mm -hmm. scale their business, and then you also have an executive coaching aspect. Yeah. You really go one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah. talk to our audience about what you really do to identify that ideal client and how you know where they fit into your programs. Yeah, definitely. So for me, the, it's very much like hiring someone for a job. My ideal client is someone that has passion, work ethic, drive, and has the willingness and belief to invest in themselves. I can teach pretty much any skill set necessary for someone to succeed as an entrepreneur. But the one thing that I can't give them is that work ethic, that hustle, that belief in themselves, that willingness to get up early and stay up late and do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. So I'm looking for entrepreneurs and small business owners that need that guidance. They need support. Maybe, you know, I realized that, and one of the biggest things I've learned since I started my business is what a gift it was to have the Fortune 500 experience that I have. Because I was given this gift of years and years of business building experience and learning and wisdom and knowledge that I acquired through actually doing. Many entrepreneurs never had that experience. So they actually need to be taught the fundamentals of sales, marketing, operations, customer service, you know, how to build a, an infrastructure of a company, how to create systems, how to automate. You know, these are the things that I teach that people just simply don't have experience with as an entrepreneur and you know they need some help kind of on that journey so I work with companies and individuals from startup through multi-million dollar firms and the work that we do varies from everything from productivity and how to spend your time and, and what to leverage and how to you know better utilize the resources that you have in the business to putting systems in place for sales and marketing some companies hire me to actually coach their sales teams and teach them how to go from generating one new client a month to four um, so I have a pretty wide scope of how I help people but the essence of it is start grow, scale your business, and for me to come in, meet you where you are, and give you the right tools, systems, and strategies to help you get to where you want to be. Yeah, you know, and, and when you really look at the clients that you've helped, it's so extensive. You've helped medical professionals. You've helped yeah. online businesses, websites. Yeah. You've helped corporations. You've helped automotive dealers. So, yeah. you know, once again, I really think that that's another layer about you that's so impressive is that you're not pigeonholed to one yeah. particular area. And I firmly would say, and just, just knowing your bio and watching you, is that your Fortune 500 experience really helped you be multicultural. Would you not yes. say that? Oh my gosh, so much. And, and that's an important message that I have for the listeners. And I'm really happy you brought that up, Matt. You know, I hear from people every single day. Um, I'm trying to start a business. I have no experience. I have no credibility. I have no clients. How do I get going? And the number one thing that I tell people is stop discrediting your past experience. I cannot believe unbelievable people that have had amazing careers in different industries start their business and they say they have no experience. No, you have a lifetime of experience. Take the time to sit down and actually do the exercise of understanding the bridge between what you did in the past and what you're trying to do in the future. That should be the number one thing that you leverage. You don't not have any experience. You just need to take the time to connect the future with the past. And then you will have the confidence. You'll have the certainty. You'll, you'll be willing to go for it because you realize you don't not have any experience. You have a lifetime of experience, but you have to take the time to take a step back and actually recognize and pull out which of those things are applicable. Absolutely. And, you know, I tell people all the time that the number one way to get past feeling unconfident is to create an activity. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. once you create an activity and you realize that you can do something, then your confidence level will yeah. get there. So exactly. So I'll tell you what, that that is just another point of why this particular episode is so phenomenal, because Kelly is a very dynamic personality, as you guys can already tell. But she truly brings a layer of not only social proof to the table, 
but a skill set that has been cultured and and really cultivated through experience after experience. And so, and if you, you know, to backtrack a little bit, Kelly, and just so our, our audience out there that might be straddling the fence with what you said, yeah. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I have enough experience. Yeah. Remember this, ladies and gentlemen, she was most nervous about publishing her Facebook business yes. profile. <laughs> this is the youngest senior vice president in her yeah. Fortune 500 company. Yeah panicking about yeah. it on Facebook yeah. that she was Kelly Roach coaching. So remember this, yeah. your current situation is not your defining moment. It's what yes. you do and commit to doing after that, that truly defines who you are. So, you know, Kelly, when you really started to talk about grow, scale, and enhance, mm -hmm. you know, talk to us about why coaches are so important, why mentors yeah. and why professional personal development is so vital to that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can definitely share from experience that, you know, the number one thing that's going to cut time off your journey and help you to achieve your goals quickly is working with someone who's already done it. And that's been the case for me, not only in my corporate career, but also now in my entrepreneurial career. The number one thing that you need to be investing in if you want to go further faster is working with someone who's already done what you want to do. Hands down, there is no other investment that's going to be better than investing in yourself. And the way that I describe it to people is when you work with a coach, it's literally like you being dropped off in the middle of the jungle. It's completely dark. You've never been there before. You don't know where to go or what to do. And it's like someone taps you on the shoulder and is like, oh, hey. I have a flashlight, a map. Oh, and by the way, I lived in this jungle for 10 years. Let me show you the way, right? That's what working with a coach is. Now, is working with a coach going to guarantee your success? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Your results are going to depend on you. But that's why it's super important to believe in yourself, commit to your goals, and also take the time to find not just a coach, but the right coach that is doing and has accomplished what you hope to one day do. You know, you, you, could, you could not have phrased that in a more better way because I think so many people truly do not understand the value of a coach because they yes. expect the coach to do all the work for them. Right, and, right. And, and, you know, as a colleague in this field, one thing that I have learned is that those that are committed to putting in the work and those that are committed to getting the coaching are really the ones that are going to win. Those that are looking for someone to do the work for you, that's why you bounce from coach to coach to coach to coach because you never go all in and commit. Exactly. I couldn't agree more. And, you know, I always tell people, look at the Olympic athletes, look at the people in the NFL and the NBA, those people you've never seen one person that's made it to pro level, that's made it to world class without a coach. And the reason why is because that person needed a coach in order to get there. So you have to decide what level you're trying to take your career, your business, and your life to. And then you have to go all in at the level that you expect to get results at. Yeah, I love how you said that. So, so everyone out there on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher, you have to decide what level you want to take your business to. And then you need to find that coach and that mentor, yeah. and you need to create that commitment. Exactly. And so, so, Kelly, as we're wrapping up the show, I wanted to ask this question to you. What would you say is the best piece of advice you've ever received going into the entrepreneurial world? It's a marathon. It's a marathon. I think the most important thing for people to understand is it is not a sprint. It's a marathon. Building a business is a lifelong process. It's a journey with lots of ups and downs. It is uh, an experience that you grow through in order to get to the level that you want to arrive at. And the only way that you'll be successful is if you're committing to the lifelong experience of building a business, not just looking for that overnight success or that quick win. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the quick win. Is there even such a thing? <laughs> no, no, there is not such a thing. And if there is one, I am pretty sure it's not a win that you want, right? Yeah. I so think we've, we've both been in business long enough to know that, I think. Well, anytime I get what I think is a quick win, I wonder what the catch really is. <laughs> so, there, yeah, there's no quick win. Yeah. You know, so, so, Kelly, so, so our audience and our listeners know where they can really find you and how they can get into contact with you and learn more about what you do. Um, um, tell us how we can find you. 
Yeah, definitely. Well, if the listeners are looking for tools, resources, videos, audios, trainings, step-by-step cheat sheets, everything that you need, if you go to kellyroachcoaching.com, there's actually like seven different trainings, tools, and resources there that you can download absolutely for free um, that are going to help you build and grow your business. No matter what stage you're, you're starting at, you'll find something there that matches the level that you're at. So definitely go to kellyroachcoaching.com. Um, of course, if you join my mailing list, I send out videos and audios and tips and all of that. And uh, just like we connected on Twitter, that's a great place to find me. I'm, I'm on there all the time. I do Periscope every now and then, so you can catch me live doing video. And uh, I love love connecting with other driven, motivated people that are on a journey to achieve their goals and dreams. Absolutely. And, and, and for everyone out there, make sure you're also downloading Unstoppable Success Radio on iTunes. Yes. Stitcher Radio, YouTube, Google Play, and tune in. She has an episode on there. One of my favorite episodes is zero to three million in three mm-hmm. years. And you really need to listen to that because you can hear a lot of those trouble moments. Mm-hmm. A lot of those, I think I made it moments and a lot of those, well, you know what? I got to keep going moments. And mm-hmm. so, you know, Kelly, I, I tell you what, I really appreciate you being here on the show today. I know that our audience and our listeners have gotten so much golden information from you, but as you, as we wrap up the show, what's one nugget that you can really leave someone out there that's struggling um, on whether to keep going in their business or just start their business? You were given every dream and every goal that you have for a reason and you were put on the planet to make an impact. So whatever it is that you're dreaming of, just know that you have in your heart already everything that you need to succeed and everything else you can learn, acquire, or find on your path. So imperfect action is your best friend as an entrepreneur. It's the most important thing that's going to make you successful and connect with people like Matt and myself that are out there doing it. We love helping other people and uh, we're putting everything out there that we possibly can to help support you in achieving your goals well there you have it ladies and gentlemen you were put on the planet to make an impact kellyroachcoaching.com thank you all once again for an amazing week and i really appreciate each and every one of you out there on itunes soundcloud and stitcher once again your host matt crane coming to you every week on the power of great helping you recognize that your current situation is not your defining moment. And remember this, ladies and gentlemen, success is never measured by what you step out of, rather by what you are committed to step into. We'll see you next week.